In this video, I will teach you how to combine the SUMIF and VLOOKUP functions in Excel. As you can see on the spreadsheet, we have a total of two tables. The first table consists of customer IDs, order dates, and also order amounts for each customer ID. The second table, which is the table next to it, consists of customer names and customer IDs. And what these two tables have in common, as you can observe, are the customer IDs. What I want to do is I want to get the sum of order amounts from the table on the left, but for a certain customer, which is in this case, Steve Lemmy. And uh, as you can see in the first table, we don't have customer names, we only have IDs. But in this table, the second table, we have customer names and their customer IDs. So I'm going to use a combination of sum if and VLOOKUP in order to get the sum of order amounts for this customer, which has an ID of ID 007 from this table. In other words, I want all instances of order amounts from this table to be summed whenever the customer ID is equal to ID 007. So in order to do that, we need a formula which is currently on the screen. So this is what the syntax for the formula looks like. And I'm going to apply it uh, in this cell over here. So here's how it goes. So first we do a sum if on the range, which is in this case the B3 to B18 range. And I'm going to apply a reference lock to it. And I do that by pressing F4 on my keyboard. There's your uh, reference lock. And the next step is I'm going to use VLOOKUP in order to identify the criteria that we're going to use for the sum if. So I will write VLOOKUP. And then in the VLOOKUP, we're going to look up this customer name, which is Steve Lemmy. And I'm going to also apply a reference lock here and then comma, and next we're going to enter the array. The array is going to come from the second table, this table. So we're going to select uh, this range, which is the range in which there's data in this table. And I'm going to also reference lock this by clicking F4 again, and comma, two. The reason I selected two is I want the second column of this table, which is in this case, customer ID and comma false. So what the VLOOKUP here does is it uh, identifies the customer ID for this customer name, which is Steve Lemmy. So if I was only to input this VLOOKUP statement in a cell, I would get the ID 007. Uh, so now that the uh, uh, VLOOKUP is finished, uh, I put a parentheses and a comma at the end. And the final thing I have to put in this uh, formula is the sum range, which is the last argument. And the sum range is the order amount from our first table, the table that has customer IDs. So I select the range. I also apply F4 to do a reference lock. And then I do a, a ending parentheses. And finally, I press on enter. And there we go. We have the sum of order amounts for Steve Lemmy, which has an ID, who has an ID of ID 007. Now, if we sum all the instances of uh, customer ID 007 in this table, we should arrive at the same order amount. Uh, that is a 1608. So let's just let's do that to validate if, if the formula has worked correctly or not. So I'm going to just highlight all the instances that uh, uh, from this table in which the ID is equal to uh, ID 007. So here's one, the second one, the third one. And uh, yes, what I see is the sum of these three numbers is equal to 1608. So it shows 
that the formula has worked correctly and we were able to use a combination of sum if and vlookup within a formula in order to get all the instances of a customer name uh, in this table. This is why the customer name didn't even exist in this table. So we use the second table to identify the uh, customer ID through this VLOOKUP over here. And then using the sum if formula, we summed up all the instances of customer IDs in this table where the customer ID was equal to ID 007. And as you can see, the outcome is 1608, which is the sum of all IDs where the ID is equal to Z, where the ID is equal to 007. And this is how we can use SUMIF and VLOOKUP functions together in Excel. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And also click on the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video.